Hey guys, it's Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. Today I want to show you how to assemble an axle shaft. I am the American sun. Your time is up, now my last Alright, so you've either broken your axle shaft, or you're upgrading your axle shaft, or maybe you're just replacing the seal because your axle is uh, leaking out the tube. Either way, it's all the same. Once you pull your axle shaft out, uh, we need to replace all these components. So let's start off with a brand new axle. If you buy a brand new axle, it's going to come bare like this. And usually they'll send you the pieces that you need to go with it. Minus the backing plate sometimes, so you might have to remove the backing plate off of here. Now if you need to see how to remove uh, the carrier bearings and this collar, I have a video on that. I'll leave the link down in the description below. But today we're just going to talk about putting this all together. So it might be kind of confusing at first when you get this in the mail and there's all these pieces, but basically all you need to do is look at your old axle shaft uh, to figure it out. Now if you don't have an old one, let me show you how this works. The first thing that we're going to need is this uh, retaining plate. So that goes on first, and then we're going to need this. This is the seal. So when you're looking at the seal, you can look at this one here for reference. But the spring, usually when you're looking at a seal like this, the spring always goes on the inside where the oil is going to be. That way uh, the spring is covered in oil. So spring is on this side, it's going to go up because this is the inside where the oil is going to be at. That goes down. Next thing is the bearing and the race. Now I'm going to show you how to take out the race over there because usually these will separate whenever you pull them apart. But uh, for the most part they come together like this in the package and this is the race on here. Where is that race? <laughs> so this is the old race. Uh, it's hard to see but this actually can separate but uh, this is the race. It sits like this and the race goes on the inside of the axle tube so that needs to go up like this. Okay. The next thing is the collar. That just holds it all together. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now what we need to do though is press it on or beat it on. If you have a press, you could just uh, put this in the press, press it down and it'll all squish together. If you don't have a press, you can still do this with a pipe. Let me show you how to do that. Alright, let's check one more time to make sure everything is on there correct. Now I guess I should mention that if you have something like anti-lock brakes, you might have some other pieces here and there. So make sure you check your your stock um, axle first before you go pounding this on. So the next thing we need to do is find a pipe that will fit over this, but you don't want it to fit over this collar. You want it to fit over the shaft, but not the collar. I think that's going to work. Now I'm going to lube it up just a little to help. And we're going to see if I can do this on the table. If not, I'll move it to the floor and pound this down. Looks like I need to go to the floor. Jamming in there. Well, it's going down, but now my pipe is not big enough because it's getting wedged on that next shank right there. So, let's forget about this. Let's take it over to the press. Alright, so this is the proper tool for the job. All we need to do is put this upside down in here. Close this up. Use that smaller hole there. That. And on the other side. Okay. Now, when we crank this down, I'm just going to press all that together. Now, I need to use a piece of steel between here so I don't mess up my shaft. But of course, it's not a big enough gap right there. Let me get something smaller. 
Try this. There we go. All right, let's do it. Okay, man, that was a tight fit. I'm glad I didn't try using a pipe on that. I don't think a pipe would have ever worked for that. It was too tight. All right. Once you crank down enough, you'll feel it stop. And it won't go any further. And that is where you want to stop. Okay, we'll check it out. Now I've got a brand new axle ready to go in. Well, let me show you a little trick to get the race out of the axle tube itself. More than likely, your race will be left behind when you take your axle out. Uh, this one is kind of jammed in there, and I can't really pry it out because I'm actually prying against the race itself. So, just go in your scrap pile, find you a piece of scrap metal. I found this in there. And find you a little chain or a rope or something. What I'm going to do is put this around my piece of scrap. I'm going to put it in there. And this is just the right size. It's going to go behind there and fit against the race. Now, let's see if this will work. Almost got it. Let's try it again. Need a little bit bigger piece of scrap in there. This one's kind of popping out. Let's try that again. I found this. It's a little bit longer. I actually cut it down out of my scrap pile to make it fit just right. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let's do it with the metal, with the uh, chain around it. There. Let's see if that'll do it. That sucker doesn't want to budge out of there. It's gonna require more force. More force. Try it like this. Holy crap! Almost took my head off, but it came out. Well, all right, I hope you learned something there, whether you use that for a broken axle, a new axle, or just replacing a seal, whatever. I hope you learned something. Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, leave your comments below. I'd like to hear from you. What did you think about this video? Have you ever had to do this before? Leave your comments below. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go press this one on. Yeah.